This content is intended for educational purposes only. Unauthorized use of these techniques is illegal. Please act responsibly. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how hackers use a popular looking game, secretly crafted with malware, to hack and remotely control your Android device using Metasploit. As you can see on the screen, this is an SMS message hacked from the victim's device. It includes sensitive OTP codes that hackers can use to access bank accounts, crypto wallets, or even social media profiles. The most shocking part, the victim has no idea that the app they installed is secretly sending a connection back to the attacker, giving the hacker full control over their phone. So in this video, I'm going to show you what happens after the victim installs and opens the fake game app. We'll be using Metasploit to demonstrate how hackers gain remote access and control over the target device. But remember this content is strictly for educational purposes. Unauthorized access to any device is illegal. Please use this knowledge ethically and responsibly. Now, let's launch Metasploit and get started. As we can see Metasploit MSF console is loading, so we have to wait a few moments. Metasploit is now ready, and we're inside the MSF console. The next step is to load the specific exploit module that will allow us to interact with the target Android device. Now let begins. Now it's time to set up the L host and L port. Since the backdoored APK has already been built, we're just focusing on the attack demonstration. I'll enter the local IP address and port that the malware is configured to connect back to. This is what establishes the reverse connection from the victim's device to the attacker's machine. The attack is now waiting for the victim to open the fake game app. As I mentioned earlier, I've already built the backdoored APK, so now I'll simply open it to trigger the connection. If you want to learn how to embed the Metasploit payload into an app, make sure to subscribe, I'll cover that in an upcoming video. Now, let's open the app and watch the connection appear in the terminal. As you can see, the moment the app get open, it's immediately get connected back to the hacker terminal. So let begins the post exploitation on the target Android phone, by checking the type of phone the target is using and also check if the target phone is rooted. And the most interesting part is that all the post-exploitation happens silently in the background. The victim has no idea the hacker is running malicious commands on their device, they're just playing the game like everything is normal. Now let's check all the apps and APKs installed on the victim's device.
This step is very important, because it allows the hacker to look for sensitive apps like banking apps or crypto wallets. From here, the attacker can build a strategy to target those accounts and potentially transfer money or cryptocurrency. L. Next, let's dump the victim's SMS messages and see if any sensitive information is exposed. The SMS text file has now been dumped. Let's open it and check what's inside. Wow! As you can see, the dumped SMS text file contains sensitive information like OTPs, bank alerts, crypto verification codes, and more. This single technique can be used to hijack a victim's wallet, social media accounts, or even bank apps, all without them ever realizing it. Now let's talk about how you can protect yourself from this type of attack. Shield to stay protected from attacks like this, avoid downloading apps from unknown sources. Only use trusted app stores like Google Play. Be careful with app permissions. If a simple game asks for access to your SMS, camera, or storage, something's wrong. Use a good mobile security app to detect suspicious activity. And instead of relying on SMS for OTPs, switch to an authenticator app for better protection. Regularly check your installed apps and remove anything unfamiliar. Also, make sure your phone is always updated. Those updates often fix security flaws hackers rely on. And don't forget, if you're an ethical hacker, bug bounty hunter, or penetration tester and you want to learn how to bind a payload inside a popular app like this one, make sure to like this video and subscribe. I'll be covering that in detail in my next upload. Now, here's a quick disclaimer before we end the video. The devices used in this demonstration, including the mobile phone, belong to me and I have full permission to test them. This video is purely for educational purposes and does not promote illegal activity of any kind. Hacking into someone's privacy without their permission is a serious crime and a punishable offense under cybercrime laws. Always stay ethical, and stay updated with the latest trends in cybersecurity. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to stay ahead in cybersecurity. Check out more videos here to keep your knowledge sharp.